Hello and welcome to El Segundo Magazine. I'm your host, Katherine Chen. The city of El Segundo now has its very own art museum that offers an interactive way to experience all types of art from different time periods. We got an inside peek as the city welcomed this new museum with open arms at its grand opening. Believe it or not, this new nonprofit art laboratory sits on Main Street in downtown El Segundo. It all began when Manhattan Beach residents Brian and Ava Sweeney needed a place to store their large art collection and considered building a space in El Segundo. So Brian and I were kicking the idea around and I said, well, what about opening it up to the public? And that was the beginning of Brian's vision of a museum that is free and open to the public. Every day it's open. As MOA, the El Segundo Museum of Art is now a reality. Well, we'll actually have uh, art in our collection from the early 16th century to present day contemporary artists. So it's going to be uh, a wide variety of art. and. What's going to be a little bit interesting here is that it's going to be, we're mixing it all together in one space. This exhibition is called Desire and it deals with nature and uh, how man has looked at nature over the centuries. And it's all about our perception of nature. That's how we selected the pieces and our bizarre and paradox perception of nature because everybody wants to see nature in a pure, not touched by human way and feels like, oh, this is a real thing. And on the other hand, we take anything out of nature what we can. Bernhard's sister, Ava, designed the space that will present four shows a year. What I love about this space, it's a very extreme space. It's 25 feet wide and 140 feet long, and it's right on Main Street. So it is a very urban setting, very pedestrian friendly. So you enter a 10-foot story high entrance, and then you come into the gallery and experience a quite nice 25 foot high ceiling. It's such a small space in a way, uh, but yet surprising uh, that you come here, but you should feel like it's, it's your own little living room. Part of the museum includes this artist in residence living area where international artists are invited to come and experience California and create art. Every year, four scholarships will allow artists to reside here for three-month terms. The first term is going to be uh, hosted by Otis College. It's, it's, they're going to select the first term every year and bring an artist. This year, they're bringing an artist from Iceland who so has never been to California before, and it's going to be very exciting. The current artist-in-residence is Michael Sistig from Cologne, Germany. He's just completed a sculpture that will be installed on El Segundo Beach. I was invited from, uh, from Bernhard Simkala to come over here and uh, create some things and work in the studio. Artists generally, their travel experiences are so important for their creativity and stimulation and, and a lot of them don't have the resources to get around. So we'll be encouraging artists who, who we believe have great talent to come here and uh, learn about El Segundo in California and, and do an art, a little bit of an artist exchange. ESMOA will also be working with the schools within the El Segundo School District. Our objective is to have all of the students from the school system come through the space in the first exhibition. So we're, uh, and we have a little education program that will be tailored for each of the grades. El Segundo residents and people who appreciate art are excited about the museum too. I thought it was a great opportunity here for us El Segundoans to have something like this. And I wasn't going to check it out today but my wife, she's an artist and uh, she said, let's go down and, and do it, and I'm glad I did. It makes me feel like I, I want to do more art than I usually do. That I want, want to do art every day. We can look forward to many more interesting experiences at ESMOA. I'm not sort of an art historian who selects the works. I'm an artist myself who selects the works. So I think that's a little bit of a different um, approach. And the museum definitely has its own different style. You'll notice that each number on the floor corresponds to a piece of art. Now at one of these iPad stations, you can look up that number and find information on the artwork, read past comments, and even leave your own. And all of this is also available on your smartphone at esmoa.org. It's a new way of enjoying art and sharing ideas. Another unique feature is the arrangement of the art pieces. Some are at eye level, others are lower for children to see, and some are on the floor. I like the combination of art on the floor. It makes it much more interactive. 
Brian and Ava are excited the museum is finally open and hope more people discover and enjoy El Segundo's newest attraction. I think this will be a great uh, catalyst to spark creativity. We want to bring art more into like everybody's life that you can just walk in, take a look and uh, really feel like, oh wow, I, I take something out of it. For El Segundo TV, I'm Catherine Chen.